What can air movements do for you? Optimising production methods is fundamental to glasshouse growers. Determining what makes an optimal climate, however, can be challenging. Each type of plant will have its own requirements and characteristics in terms of the environment it can thrive in. An important part of achieving that environment is air movement. In this video, which is the first in our air movement series, we look into the benefits of air movement. Air movement should be seen as a tool to help maintain an active and homogeneous climate. This can lead to a number of benefits, including uniformity of plant growth, humidity, temperature and CO2, assisting transpiration, reducing condensation and risk of disease, and energy efficiency. By moving air around the glasshouse, humidity and temperature can be evened out to much more desirable levels. A uniform climate is also likely to result in uniform plant growth, meaning fewer rejects and potentially easier harvesting. In the summertime, when you have high radiation levels, it uh, can become a problem that flowers become much warmer than the actual air temperature because of radiation. And fl because flowers do not transpire, they cannot exchange that energy by transpiration. So they get warmed up pretty much. Now you can overcome that problem by blowing air, greenhouse air, of let's say 25 degrees centigrade, around that uh, flower, which will bring the, the flower temperature down to air temperature. So this is a way to prevent problems. Uneven glasshouse conditions can also mean uneven distribution of CO2, which can be helped by good air movement. Obviously it's important to know what, what your CO2 level is at the, at the crop level, and just because you've got 1000 ppm at, at a metre doesn't necessarily mean that at crop level it's, it's the same. Um, and what can happen is you can end up depleting the, the, the levels of CO2 at, at the, the canopy level. Air movement can really help to, to keep that sustained at the, the level it needs to be. And that doesn't necessarily need to be a, a, a thousand ppm. Um, even the ambient air outside may be at three or four hundred and that, that could be sufficient to, to supply the crop with, with what it needs. So by bringing in that fresh air and, and getting it to the crop, that can be enough to, uh, yeah, to, to sustain the, the crop's needs. Um, rather than having to supplement with, uh, with expensive CO2. One of the major benefits of good air movement is a reduced risk of disease. A build-up of moist air around the crop can lead to condensation forming on the plant if its temperature falls below the dew point. This can occur as a result of radiation exchange between the plant and a cold sky, even if the glass has temperature is above the dew point. A further benefit of effective air movement is energy efficiency. By not having temperature controls based on the coldest place in the glasshouse, energy consumption can be reduced. In the other two videos in this series, we explore Video 2 – Is the air movement in your glasshouse effective? and Video 3 – Techniques for improving air movement. For more information on optimising your production environment, visit growsave.co.uk.